Today we're going to take a look at Charlie Munger's stock market portfolio for 2021. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another investing video and today we're looking at one of the all-time great stock portfolios, Charlie Munger. But before we deep dive into that guys, please remember to give this video a thumbs up, it helps me out so much and subscribe if you're interested in watching more stock market investing and wealth management content. If you like that sort of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'd love to know your thoughts and comments as well at the end of the video on Charlie Munger's stock portfolio and whether you agree or disagree with his style of investing. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So just briefly for those of you who don't know who Charlie Munger is, he's effectively Warren Buffett's right hand man and he's the Vice Chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. He's also served as the Chairman for Wesco Financial Corp and as well he is currently the Chairman of the Daily Journal Corporation. And a few other points, he's an American billionaire investor, businessman, former real estate attorney, architectural designer and philanthropist. As you can imagine, Charlie is a man of immense knowledge and one of the most successful investors of our time. Being able to partner with someone like Warren Buffett makes them effectively such a dream team together when it comes to investing and we can see that through their success. One of the main reasons I really like Charlie Munger is due to the fact that he is against diversification and this is something that I typically tend to avoid as well and he actually stated the idea of excessive diversification is madness. Wide diversification which necessarily includes investment in mediocre businesses only guarantees ordinary results. And the main reason I enjoy Charlie's methodology is due to the fact that he selects companies which he believes are going to become gargantuans in their industry and effectively industry leaders. So rather than spreading his money across a bunch of mediocre companies and reducing his risk, he puts in the time, he puts in the research and invests in those companies which he knows are going to succeed overall over a long period of time and they're going to be the standout companies within that sector. Just before we deep dive into Charlie Munger's portfolio, I just want to make the point that we're purely looking at his portfolio that he's managing on behalf of the Daily Journal Corp and he does own other shares in family trusts and that sort of thing outside of this but this is our focus for today's video. Welcome to Charlie Munger's Daily Journal Corp portfolio as of Q4 2020, so moving into 2021 it is the same. And as you can see, it is worth over $124 million, but only consists of four companies. And this goes back to his point of not diversifying his portfolio and instead picking those organizations which are going to excel within their field. Now of these four stocks, three of them are finance related stocks. We've got the Bank of America, we've got Wells Fargo, and we've got US Bancorp. And the fourth company there is POSCO, which is a steel company based out of Korea. And as you can see at the bottom, the distribution between financial and materials is quite significant. And we'll look a bit more into that soon. But as you can see, the financials are the majority of the stock portfolio that Charlie actually holds for Daily Journal Corp. Now what's interesting here as well is we can see that there is little activity in Charlie's portfolio over the past decade. Effectively nothing has happened except he's reduced his holding in POSCO by 84.91% which resulted in a 2.59% change to his entire portfolio. Now if we look at POSCO itself during this period we can see from a historical point of view, the share price had been declining and furthermore, earnings were also declining as well. And we can see it was a good decision that Charlie made to sell this stock as it continued to reduce in value 
And this goes back to the idea of selling your losers and instead hanging on to those stocks which are actually generating you a decent amount of money. So let's look at what Charlie's still holding on to. As we can see, the first one is Bank of America, also known as BAC for their stock ticker. And we can see the polar opposite scenario. Instead of a decline, we're seeing BAC has been increasing year on year, basically all the time. And as a result, it is a winner for Charlie and he's holding on to it as a result. Not only that, the growth in stock price is great, but it is also paying out a nice dividend each year of roughly 2%. If we next take a look at Wells Fargo, we can see a similar sort of situation, but unfortunately they started trading flat and then really suffered due to the pandemic, but are now on the trajectory for recovery. So it's gonna be interesting to see if he continues to hold onto this stock, given that he does not too much with regards to buying or selling more shares for this company. Now, finally, if we look at US Bancorp, we can see relatively a similar sort of situation to the previous company in that it was trending upwards, started trending from about 2017 in a horizontal direction, but then dropped and suffered due to COVID, but is now on the trajectory for recovery. But the thing with US Bancorp is the fact that it is bouncing back a lot quicker and has just passed through one of the key trend lines, the purple one that you can see there, which to me indicates that we are going to likely see a bull run as this is the long-term trend. Hopefully what we see now for this company is that that short-term trend sitting at $40 will then pass through the long-term purple line, indicating that we are back on an uptrend. But once again, this is also another stock that is paying dividends for him, as well as actually growing in value over the long-term. As we can see from Charlie Munger's portfolio, all his purchases and his sales are very, very deliberate as he detests the idea of diversification. And in fact, the idea of investing in Charlie Munger's eyes is to buy those stocks that are going to perform well in the long term and just sit on them. Basically, what you do then is effectively eliminate all the hassle of having to trade in and out of stocks based on volatility and instead you're enjoying the benefits of holding stocks long term that perform well. And with that guys, I'll wrap up today's video. I'd love to know your thoughts on Charlie Munger's portfolio and his methodology for investing. If you did enjoy today's video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more of this sort of content. And with that, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.